So if you've been loading your um, files from your local directory structure, um, you will eventually get an error that looks like this one. So I have a failure to do something that contains cross-origin data and may not be loaded. What does this mean? This essentially means I have a security failure. I'm trying to load a file from my local machine. So because I'm running this web page locally, um, it's trying to reference a file on my local hard drive. And we wouldn't normally want web pages to do that. I don't want to load something off of the web and it says, hey, load up James's security.txt. Right? We don't want him loading local files from my system. So what do we have to do to get around this? So there's a couple of things we can do. So the book has a couple of methods by which you can tell your web browser, hey, just don't be secure. Let me load this. I think that's a terrible idea. We don't want to make our web browser not secure. So instead, we're going to do something slightly different. What we're going to do, let me switch to this. So now you see I'm running from localhost 8000. This is a web server running on my local machine. And I'm loading the same file uh, that, that I would have been using. So now how do I get this localhost web server running? And in fact, I'm not getting the error anymore. My textures are loading, which we'll see in the next videos, how, how to get done. But the question for right now is, how do I get this localhost web server running? So in my directory where I have my code stored, right? I have my blocky animal and my paint, and here's my world. There's a library. At the top level, I just have a batch file. And my batch file um, is going to do something very simple. I'm just calling Python with the command that tells it to make a web server for me. And you can surely use other things to create a local web server. You don't have to use Python. I just happen to be using this way to do it um, because many of you will have this installed already and so it'll be easy to do. So you could run this command just directly from the command line every time. I've made a batch file so I can just click it and get it running. Once this is running, what do I see in my web server? So let me go up a couple, but let me do it in a new tab here localhost 8000, what do I see? I see whatever was in the directory of the place where I ran this. And so I can go click into uh, my different my different programs and, and see them running. These are running now from this web server, not from my local file system. Even though the web server is running on my local machine and the web server itself is serving them out of my, my local file system.